Now that we talked a little bit about the cross point pad on the cross point row, we need to talk a little bit about the cross point pad up on the aux row. Up on my top row here, I have an aux. The cross point pad on the aux obviously is going to have different functions than an ME. So when I'm programming the buttons of the aux cross point pad, I'm going to come in again to my menu, cross point module, and instead of choosing an ME, you can see I have first aux and second aux. So the XVS switcher and the ICPX control panel, you can have two aux rows. You can send an aux row out to a second unit for routing things and doing different things like that. We're going to just deal with the one, the first aux row here. And again, if I go to the cross point pad button assign, you'll see that my choices have changed and I have different functionality in the aux, so I have different choices to program buttons with. Most of my programmability is probably going to be more in display modes and, and how I want the aux pad to work. Right now in my aux row, I have aux delegates in row one, and I can choose row one, and then I could choose the aux, and I'm seeing in my um, display here where I'm going to with that aux, okay? I have a key button up here on the top, and if I press that down, I can see key row, key sources from there. It's another feature of the aux, because you may want to do some key sources. Um, if I go to uh, different display modes, you can see now I can split my display modes, and I can see what I have in my first three or four auxes, aux one, aux two, aux three. Right now I'm routing aux one, and I can take a different source. Um, and I can go right back to another display where I'm just displaying the sources that I have coming to my cross points that are available to go to my destination. You can also see on this, on, as I work down in this cross point pad, I have a cross point hold. If I am using memory to control some of my auxes with a user region, I can always have a cross point hold turned on on that aux so it doesn't change if I don't want it to. Um, the other button you see here is an aux mix button. I have an aux mix set up in aux one right now. So you'll notice that when I change the source in aux one, there's an aux mix of about 15 frames. So at one point you can see that both buttons are lit. The transition is happening in aux one. If I turn off aux mix, now I'm just cutting in that aux. I can turn it back on and I'm back to aux mix. So it gives me a lot of functionality right there. Um, let's talk about another very nice, uh, feature of the uh, aux row, I think, is second delegate. I could turn second delegate on and off. What I've just done now is because I have two rows of delegates here, well now I have row one that I've chosen as aux one, and I have row two, I've chosen aux three. You'll also notice color differences. Row one is amber, and my A bus here is amber. Basically have two A buses here now though, because my green bus is routing aux three. I could easily route two auxes at any given time, just bammo. You can see I have an aux mix turned on on both those. So I have a second aux mix that comes to this row. And you'll also notice the status of my row. It's telling me this row's aux one, this row's aux three. If I turn off that second delegate, you'll see the aux mix goes gray there because there's only one uh, aux that I'm routing and both my rows are aux one. Difference now being is A bus here is aux one shift, unshifted sources and the second row is aux one shifted sources. So if I need a shifted source, I just have to hit that bottom row and the top row is unshifted. So there's some of the flexibility and the power of the cross point pad on the aux row. Uh, if I were to go to a different source display, I have one more thing to show you. And if we go to display mode, if I turn on destination display mode, that's showing me all the auxes that I've programmed into my destination buttons. So I could go back from the sources that are in each one of those to the destinations. So I can see it graphically here. I know this button's aux one. I know this button's aux three. I can go back and see the sources that are in those buttons right there, just like that. Another powerful feature of the aux crosspoint pad is I can program a button that turns on my router mode. If I go to router mode on the aux pad, I now have an XY router interfacing to my house router. And I could do whatever I need to do and surface from there. I can actually go to a different page of the cross point pad and have different levels of that router. And I can change from levels one through four on that router, how many levels I might have. Come back to home, and I can turn the router mode off. I'm back to routing my auxes, just one button hit, back to router mode. You just really scratch the surface of some of the things I can do with the cross point pads on the ICPX 7000 panel. Really customizable, really customize your show and to your environment and your needs.